My father is American and my mother is Chinese. And that's what produced the mix of wonderful me. They are not overprotective of me. Jenny, this is your grandma. Ah, Jenny! I know you're the one. <laughs> because we have not been to China, my grandma came to visit us this year. This is my dad, a film producer. My mom, an entrepreneur in the makeup business. She's also very busy. We are all proud of my American grandma, who's a screenplay writer. We respect the living habits of each other. It seems that I have a lot of freedom, and I think I'm used to being alone. I don't understand why my Chinese grandma washes clothes by hand every day and tries to hang the clothes outside. She doesn't know English, but she still insists on learning it. I do know Chinese, and she insists on teaching me more. Besides, she always makes good food for me. What's interesting is, my American grandma is addicted to learning Chinese culture with my Chinese grandma. And what's more fascinating is my home has suddenly become lively. I've been preparing for this speech for a while. In the beginning, it was hard for me to write something about home because I'm always home alone. Home is where everyone did their own thing. Now home is where everyone connects to each other. Today, my two grandmas, even both my mom and my dad, all sitting here in the auditorium. I'm really happy that I know what home is. Now, I would like to say the following sentences in Chinese to my grandma. Lao Lao, xie xie ni. Zhe ge jia qi wo xiang he ni yi qi hui jia. Hui zhong guo kan kan. 